Let's understand the different methods. The ABO and the RH blood grouping system is based on the agglutination reaction. When the red blood cells carrying one or both antigens are exposed to the corresponding antibodies, they interact with each other to form the visible agglutination or clumping. First, we see the slide method. For the slide method, clean the fingertip to be pierced with the spirit or 70% alcohol. Use ring or middle finger. With the help of the sterile lancet, pierce the fingertip and the place one drop of blood at a three sides on the slide. After that, add one drop of anti-serum, respectively anti-A, anti-B and anti-D into the each drop of blood on the slide. Mix each blood group drop and antiserum using a fresh mixing stick. Observe the agglutination in the form of a fine red aggregates within the 30 seconds. The anti-RHD makes a slightly longer time to agglutinate compared to anti-A and anti-B. So here we can see the agglutination is present in the anti-A serum and anti-D serum. So this blood group is A positive. This is the actual picture showing slight blood group testing. The AB first try showing the AB positive showing agglutination in all three antiserals. Second picture on the right side shows O negative blood group showing no agglutination in all three antiserals. The third picture left hand side lower corner shows B negative blood group agglutination with anti b sera only and the fourth right hand side lower corner shows a negative blood group showing agglutination with anti a sera let's understand the tube method first take patient's edta whole blood for grouping and the take simple test tube add four to five drops of the whole blood from the patient serum into the test tube and add normal saline for washing wash three times and prepare five percent suspension from this five percent suspension add one drop of cells in four new plain test tubes in the first test tube add one drop of anti a sera in the second test tube add one drop of anti b sera in third test tube, add one drop of anti D sera, and in the fourth test tube, keep it as an auto control and add one drop of NS. So this part is called forward grouping. Now prepare five percent of the suspension of pulled A and pulled B cells from randomly selected three A and three B positive blood group samples. Add one drop of 5% suspension of pooled A positive cells into the tube 5 and add one drop of patient's plasma in it. Add one drop of 5% suspension of pooled B positive cell into the tube number 6 and add one drop of patient's plasma in it. And this is called the reverse grouping. Incubate at room temperature for 60 to 90 minutes or centrifuge for 15 seconds. After that observe the agglutination macroscopically or microscopically. The forward blood group system identifies the antigens that are present on the RBC and the reverse blood group system identifies the antibodies which is present on the patient's plasma. So after the method, here is our result. The agglutination is seen in the anti-A sera, anti-D sera and the B cell in the reverse blood group. So our blood group is A positive. This is the actual photo showing agglutination of RBCs in the tube method. Now let's understand the gel card method. First prepare the 5% suspension as we prepared for the tube method. 
from this 5% suspension add 10 microliter of the blood into the A column, B column, D column and control column. and take the patient's plasma or serum add 50 microliter of the patient serum into the a1 well and b well and prepare pulled a cell and pulled b cell suspension add a 50 microliter of pulled a cell into the a1 well and Add 50 microliter of the pulled B cell suspension into the B cell well. Centrifuge this gel card for 5 minutes and observe the agglutination. Here you can see the agglutination is seen with A antisera, D antisera, and with the pulled B cell. So our blood group is A positive. Let's understand the micro titer plate method. The micro titer technology uses the automated platform to detect serum antibodies and RBC surface antigens. The reactants are centrifuged and incubated in the micro plates. The ABO and RH blood type is read through an automated system. Let's see the video to understand the procedure. The novel technique has been introduced recently is a paper based method. It is also called the lateral flow method. It is a very quick method. The result can be obtained within 30 seconds. In the recent decades, the paper based microfluidics has gained much interest. The lateral chromatographic flow method and the vertical flow through method that detects blood group in the visual based manner. It is used when the urgent blood grouping is needed like emergency condition, war situation or point of care testing. It gives the results within 30 seconds. 